What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna look into the challenges for the science camo because in order to complete that you will need to take down 3 score streaks or enemy vehicles in one game. And since the M79 doesn't have a lock on capability and it doesn't shoot in a straight line it's pretty hard as you only can take down the RCXD and the sentry gun in the multiplayer. Well good luck with that since nobody uses these score streaks, when they do it it will just be one in a game and if you're lucky maybe two. Well yesterday I started this challenge and it was kinda hard in multiplayer but since you also can take out vehicles I hopped in dirty bomb and I complete this camo within one hour and that's not because I only took out enemy vehicles but before I'll go on about this make sure to watch the whole video if you want the second four digits of the gift card what I announced one video ago and I would very much appreciate it if you could drop an early like to support the channel and while you're at it make sure to subscribe to come back for more videos like these. It's basically very simple what you need to do and I'm gonna keep this short and simple. So first we're gonna look into the loadout that you need to use. For the primary weapon you can use whatever you prefer, but it's only very important that you use a barrel that does vehicle damage. This is because if you want to shoot down an attack helicopter or a UV, you can give a little bit more damage before shooting the rocket with the M79 so you are positive that you will destroy it. The next few things are also important and these are the Semtex, the Perk Engineer as Perk Slot 1 and the wildcard danger close for one extra rocket because imagine taking out three score streaks in a row then it would be very handy if you have one extra rocket since the M79 only has two rockets. Once you have this classed up start the game of dirty bomb and remember you need to take down three score streaks or enemy vehicles in one game to make a progress of one. But these can stack up. So for example if you take out six score streaks in one game then this will count for two and if you take out nine score streaks or enemy vehicles in one game then this will count for three and so on. The score streaks that you need to shoot down in dirty bomb are the sentry gun, RCXD, UAV, attack helicopter and of course all the enemy vehicles including the tanks. Once you start a match of dirty bump you need to stay in the air all the time and scan the area until you see something red pop up and that's because of the perk engineer. And when you see that you know it's a score streak or an enemy vehicle that you can take out so go as fast as possible down there to shoot it down and once you did that you can kill yourself if you don't care about your KD of course so you deploy once again in the air and again start scanning the whole area until you see something red pop up again. I did this method a few games in a row and some games I shot down around 9 in one game so I made a progress of around 3 per game. For example like you're seeing now in the background where I got a total of 11 in one game. Scrapped for shooting down a sentry gun, 2 times a dead bird for shooting down an attack helicopter, 3 breakdowns for shooting down an enemy vehicle and also 5 takedowns for taking down enemy occupied weaponized vehicles. Enemy occupied weaponized vehicles. Enemy occupied, enemy occupied weaponized vehicles. That's basically it for this video and like I said it isn't that hard if you use my knowledge. If this video helped you out or you just enjoyed watching it then make sure to leave a like underneath the video and while you're at it make sure to subscribe to come back for more videos like these. If you are still finding difficulties then let me know in the comments as I'm always here to help you out. Or if you want you can join my discord where we have a nice community with around 170 people and then I or one of the members can help you out. Either way I would love to see you in there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.